In many Christian circles, when people hear the term non-denominational Christian, they tend to see it as kind of a cop-out. You know, it's almost like saying a dirty word, but it shouldn't be that way. Um, I consider myself to be a non-denominational Christian, but I'm not applying that as a label to myself. I'm saying that that is a worldview and a lifestyle that I'm choosing, and here's why. I don't think that Jesus cares about the religious labels that we give to each other, you know? He doesn't care if we call ourselves Catholic or any other religion. We're all on the same team, and we're all trying to serve him. He doesn't care about our status, the clothing that we wear, the cars that we drive. No one is better than anyone else in the Christian walk, and... We all have different stories, we all come from different backgrounds, and we all, you know, we all speak different languages, we all have slightly different beliefs, but we're ultimately united for the same team, with the same goal and the same cause, and that should be enough. Uh, in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verses 26 through 29, the Apostle Paul actually says, for you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus, and all who have been united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ, like putting on new clothes. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. So what Paul is saying is that, you know, it doesn't matter. If you're slave or free, or if you're a man or a woman, or, as I said, any other status in life, labels don't matter, and we shouldn't assign religious labels to each other. That Don't get me wrong, if you're part of a denomination that you absolutely love, great, you know, you can keep it, whatever. Um, as I said, the, the labels don't matter, so you can call yourself a free Methodist, a Catholic, a Mormon, or any other Christian faith, Jesus still loves you, and we're all on the same team. I don't presume to be better than anyone else just because I'm non-denominational, and I don't use it as a label for myself. I use it as a way of seeing the world, as a way of seeing that, that it's not about the labels, but that it's about what Christ has done for us and what he's continuing to do in us and through us. Um... So, I think that, that that should be our focus. I've seen a lot of Christians balk at the idea of working with someone from another faith, you know? Like, someone who's Catholic might balk at the idea of, well, I don't want to work with this person because they believe something slightly different than me. And someone who's Mormon might say the same thing. And even myself, like, I've found myself in that position several times, um... You know, and as I move throughout my faith walk in this journey, I realize, no, that's not how it should be. That's not how it should be at all. God didn't tell us, worship me by being only um, Catholic or only Mormon or only Jehovah's Witness or only whatever. Um, I realize that there are major, major doctrinal differences between some of these denominations, but for the most part, we all agree on um, the big things, like we're saved by faith in Jesus Christ, and we all have similar beliefs about baptism and things like that, and yeah, there are things that we're going to disagree with people of other uh, denominations or even other faiths about, but I mean, that's part of being human. You know, we all have different beliefs anyway that we're going to agree or disagree with. And as long as we're using the Bible and the truth of Jesus Christ to spread the gospel and uh, to use as our source of truth, then ultimately, that's all that matters. Um, you know, Jesus is the truth. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Um... And I fully believe that. I also believe that we are made in the image of God. Genesis 1, 26-27 tells us that. So we bear the DNA of God within ourselves. So that means 
that we have aspects of everything that God is. God is goodness and light, beauty, joy, intelligence, truth, peace, which means that we must also be all those things. I mean, it's in our nature. It's just the way that we're wired. We are those things automatically, even if we don't think that we are, we are. Um, and so we're all the same in that respect. We have things that make us different, we absolutely do, but that's part of being human and that's such a beautiful thing and that's where grace comes in, uh, you know, and we're saved by grace. So, you know, God loves us just as we are and so these labels shouldn't matter. Um, they, they just shouldn't, you know, and and I don't think that, that we should consider ourselves better than anyone else because we have a certain status or a certain label or we adhere to a certain doctrine or denomination. Our truth comes from Christ. We're all fighting on the same team. The same goal is to win souls to Christ and to live, you know, good lives in this world, to be godly, to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And as long as we're doing that, then we're all united for the same cause. And that delights Jesus's heart so much. I truly, truly believe that. Um, you know, I also think that we should just get rid of the politics. There are so many, so many politics that I see in churches, um, both denominationally and non-denominationally. You know, I, I, I see things where churches will delegate people to make decisions on behalf of the people, which is fine, because that was done even in biblical days. Um, but some, I feel like the best way to make decisions as a church is to have the entire congregation come together and have one of the delegates propose a change that they're thinking of, and then let all the congregation members people who are both official members and non-official members but have been going to the church for a while uh, to share their beliefs about what the delegate has proposed. Um, you know, and if there are more people in favor of it, then pass it. If there aren't a lot of people in favor of it, then don't pass it. Um, everything should be decided as a community because we are built for community. I don't think that it should just be one person telling the rest of the church what to do because, uh, you know, that's not how it works. Like, yes, God is the head of the church and God leads and guides us and tells all of us that we are to follow him and lead by his example, but at the same time, he's called us to live in community with each other and so everything that we do should be done together and I think that's, that's how the church should be governed is communally um, that we should just do everything together so can we just throw these labels out the door and act like they don't matter anymore because they don't labels do not matter you are a follower of Christ you know that might be seen as a label in and of itself but one who follows Jesus uh, you know you adhere to his teachings and you're someone made in his image and saved by him and you're trying to advance his cause and that's enough. I, I think that that's really, really good enough. 